Hello, it's Vicky Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to do the install on the Rico GX7000 for DOS sublimation and configure your driver settings using a bypass tray. Um, so, first off, we we will need to have an ICC profile, and uh, to have an ICC profile, you have to send an email to support at condi.com, receive your profile, and um, then you would be able to. Uh, continue the setup by going to the Condi web page and that's at Condi.com and from the home page you would click on to support and support is where you're going to type in your username your partner net username and password so I've already done that so now that I'm in support I see these menus here and the menu in particular or the actual one I'm looking for is Rico support and then uh, from there I need to know what my PC is so to find out what operating system and uh, what bit system I have I left click on my start menu and right click on my computer left click on properties and here I can see that I have a 32-bit operating system and it's Windows Professional so I'm going to X out of that I'm going to go down here and download my driver for uh, GX7000 Windows 7 32-bit left click on that left click on the uh, save file I'm going to save this file so that I can uh, go and retrieve it and run the driver so the driver has to be installed so um, before you install the driver certain things have to be done so uh, well now that we're downloading it, let's talk about that. You're going to have to have the ink in the printer and the power cord plugged up, power turned on, and the driver, um, I'm sorry, the ink will charge. Uh, when you turn on the actual printer, the ink will start to charge. It'll fill the lines, and that usually takes about uh, nine minutes on the Ricoh GX7000, and it uses anywhere from 20 to 23%. Uh, of your cartridges so uh, the fill is uh, actually uh, charging the printer priming it getting it ready for the install and so make sure that's done have a USB cable ready not plugged up so your USB cable is going to be you could possibly plug it into one end and um, be ready to plug it into the other end and uh, when you're installing the driver and it's processing you through it will tell you when to plug up the cable and to make sure the printer's turned on so now that I have my driver downloaded I'm ready to run it so I can double click from here or I can double click from where the file downloaded to it's just as easy for me to double click here so I'm gonna click run and uh, I'm gonna accept the agreement I'm gonna click next and uh, we're going to continue connecting USB so I'm going to click next and it's going to ask me to turn the printer off and my printer is off so I'm going to click next and once it gets 200 percent I'm going to be able to uh, it's going to tell me to plug up my cable uh, for you people out there using a USB cable uh, you would plug it up and turn the printer on once this file has completed and you'll see what's coming up next and it'll tell you that very thing so um, it's going to tell you to confirm that the printer is connected USB cable and to turn the power switch on now um, what you want to do at this time when you connect the cable is make sure that you connect your USB cable to a port that's stable and the stable ports are going to be located on the back of your tower which is your um, your computer tower the front ports will not be as stable so uh, I recommend not using those front ports um, you could encounter a problem uh, getting the install also data uh, does not send it's not as powerful using the front port so I encourage you not to use a hub and not to use a front port. Laptops just connect to the side. Any USB cable is fine. So um, now it's looking for a USB connection 
and uh, once it finds it it'll tell you that the uh, driver software is installing down here at the bottom right corner sometimes that takes a few minutes however uh, if for any reason it doesn't locate it um, you would double check your cables make sure your power is turned on those kind of things and then if it still doesn't connect you would click stop auto detecting now I know my printers connected um, already so I'm going to be able to uh, go in and enter my IP address and all but I do want to show you this part of it so I'm going to click um, stop auto detecting and uh, I will configure my settings um, with my IP here shortly so again uh, most people are going to be using USB cables so you would want it to find the driver and if it doesn't find the driver you can still stop it and go and select it in the ports and I'll show you how to do that so now uh, I'm just going to click next here and there's a job printing now I'm just going to click OK that's alright and I'm going to click finish and so now I'm ready to go configure my settings and I'm going to go to my start menu and left click on printers and devices and I'm going to look for my GX7000 that I just installed and um, once I find it I'm going to right click on it here it is and I'm going to go left click on printer properties and so now uh, what I'm looking to do here is to left click on color management uh, where I will find my ICC profile that uh, I got from Condi and if your ICC profile is not there make sure that you have uh, it's been emailed to you or that it's installed uh, and to install it you would just simply right click on the file and then left click on install profile so from Windows 7 I have to click the flyout come down and find my GX 7000 gel sprinter and I'm going to left click on use my settings for this device and if my profile isn't here I would click add and from here I can come in here and find it and I would just left click on the uh, ICC profile for the GX7000 which is going to say GX7000 Ditrans high quality ICM and I would click OK but I already have it so um, if I have more than one profile in here I would want to click the manual and set this one as default and then click close so now I want to left click on advanced and from here uh, I want it to say start printing after last page is spooled so that's selected and uh, I'm going to leave that there and then I'm going to click over here on my general tab and I'm going to go to printing preferences and from here I can configure my settings and I'm going to choose the inkjet plain paper left click on user settings left click on change left click on use error diffusion make sure that's on drop down turn my color settings off left click on the miscellaneous tab check the print as bitmap left click on OK now I'm back to my setup tab and I'm going to left click on printer configuration and make sure the auto reduce is not checked we don't want that checked if you have a 32-bit PC you will have this option here to click raw if you don't uh, you probably have a 64-bit so I'm going to select the RAW I'm going to come over here to my uh, custom paper sizes and from here I'm going to choose my bypass tray which it's already selected and I have uh, the option to save up to I think it's 10 custom paper settings 
So I'm going to type the 13 by 19 here, which it's already typed. I'm going to enter my long edge paper, which is 19, and my short edge paper, which is 13. And uh, if you can't enter those values, then make sure your paper source tray is to bypass. And now I'm going to click OK. And that saves a custom paper size for 13 by 19 for you folks who purchase the bypass tray, which is additional. Uh, it's an additional accessory you can buy here at Condi. And I'm going to go back to my setup tab. And now I'm ready to save my custom settings. So I'm going to left click on save. And I'm going to type Condi ICC. And I'm going to click OK. This is telling me I already have that setting in here. And do I want to overwrite it? And I'm just going to say yes because I know the settings are correct. And left click on Apply. Left click on OK. And apply an OK out of your properties box. And now I have successfully, uh, successfully completed the GX7000 uh, configuration settings for die sublimation. And now I can close the printer faxes folder and I'm back to my desktop where I would go into my applications and part three of the setup would be uh, based on your application, Corel, Photoshop, one of those. And those setting configurations are in a video all its own. Uh, for setting up your digital imaging software, you would continue on to a video uh, based on that software by typing in the software name and uh, color management. So again, this is how you set up and configure your Windows uh, PC GX7000 driver configurations for die sublimation. If there are any questions or if you need help with this, you can call here at Condi, the 1-800-826-6332, and anyone from our support department can help you with the install and even remote in if you're a Condi client. So again, my name is Vicki and I thank you for your time.